In this video, I'll show how to automatically backup your Outlook emails into OneDrive using Power Automate. It's a simple setup and once done, it works on its own. So let's start. I'm on the Power Automate dashboard. First, I'll click on My Flows. Then I'll click New Flow. I'll select Automated Cloud Flow because we want it to run automatically whenever we get a new email. I'll add a name for the flow. I'll name this flow Backup Outlook Emails. And in the trigger, I'll search with email. Here you will see two options, one for Office 365 Outlook and one for free Outlook.com accounts. Since I am using an Office 365 account, I'll choose when a new email arrives v3. And then I'll click this create button. This is the trigger. Once the trigger is selected, you will see a panel on the left. If you click this advanced parameters option, you can add filters. For example, you can backup emails from only a specific sender. Select this from field and enter the email address of that person. You can also filter by subject or even only save emails with attachments. But for now, I'll leave this empty to backup every email. I'll add a new action here. I'll click this plus icon and I'll search with export email. Under Office 365 Outlook, I'll select export email v2. In the message ID field, we need to select the message ID from the previous step. I'll click here and I'll select this enter the data from previous step option. Here under the trigger, I'll click this see more option. Here I see message ID. I'll select it. Now we have got the exported email. Next we need to save it into a OneDrive folder. I already have a folder created here in my OneDrive. The folder name is email backup. Currently the folder is empty. I want to save the emails in this folder. I'll add the next action. Click this plus icon. I'll search for create file. Under OneDrive for business, I'll select this create file action. For the first time, you need to sign in using your Microsoft 365 account. I'll click on sign in. I'll complete the sign up process. My account is connected. First, I need to select the folder. I'll click this open folder option. I'll click this arrow navigate to root folder and here I see the email backup folder. Now we need a file name. I want to include both the email subject and sender in the file name. So it's easier to recognize later. I'll select this enter the data from previous step and here I'll select the subject from the when a new email arrives trigger. Select subject. Then I'll type a dash. This is to separate the subject with the sender email. Now I'll select this option again and I'll select from. This is the sender email. At the end, I'll type .eml. The file must end with .eml, so it's saved as an email file. You can create the file name with the other options you have. Here, if you click see more, you can see you can grab the receipt time and you can add it to the file name. I'll keep it simple. The email subject dash and the sender email .eml. Now for the file content, I'll select this enter the data from previous step and I'll select the body from the export email v2 action. That's it. Our flow is ready. I'll save the flow. Now let's try the flow. I'll click this test button. I'll select the manually option and I'll click this test button again. I'll go to my email and send a message to the Outlook account. I'll add the subject. This is the body and I'll type the email address. I'll attach a file here just to see how it handles the attachments. Once the email is ready, I'll send it. The email is sent. I'll wait here. I have received the email in the Outlook account. The flow should trigger now. Now it's creating the file. The flow ran successfully. Let's see the OneDrive folder. I'm in the OneDrive folder. I don't see the file in the folder yet. So I'll reload the page. Now I see the file. You can see the subject and the sender in the file name, just like we said it. I'll open it and the message content is here and the attachment is included too. Now if you want to view the attachment, you need to download the EML file. I'll download the EML file. I'll keep it. Here's the downloaded email file. I'll open it with Outlook. You can open it with any other email application you have. This is the email we saved in the OneDrive folder. To view the attachment, I'll double click on it. I'll click on this open option 
and I can view the complete attachment. This is a PDF attachment. It opens with the PDF reader application. So that's how easy it is to set up a Power Automate flow to back up your Outlook emails into OneDrive. Watch this video to download all your Outlook attachments in a folder. If this video helped you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.